Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the dust collection for my new DeWalt DW 735 planer. This planer has a fan built in and it actually blow the shaving out of the exhaust port. So no suction was needed. It would just self propel. But the problem is first time when I turn it on to run some wood to it, it made a big mess. I mean, that shaving was everywhere. I've seen people on YouTube do just attach a hose to the bag and and all that but uh, that works but it kind of gets in the way so uh, what I come up with just some plumbing standard plumbing route that thing out to a hose where I can plug into my vacuum because this thing already have enough power to push thing out so I just plug it directly into my uh, suction port on my vacuum and just keep the shaving inside a vacuum that way it won't get blow all got blown all over the place because this fan is pretty damn strong and uh, at first I tried to run it through a trash can with the lid on that doesn't work it blew the lid off <laughs> so uh, let's see what we need to get this uh, thing attached so what I have here is a two inch coupler two rubber two inch, cu two inch, cu uh, two inch coupler and then I got a, a 90 and a 45 and uh, when you get the 90, go ahead and spend, I think it's like a, this is a dollar something. And the standard 90 that, uh, it's a shorter, but this one has a longer sweep. I think it helps on a flow. This is a more restricted. This is like 88 cents at Home Depot. But this is, I think, a dollar something. So go ahead and get the longer one. Get a two inch pipe, PVC pipe. And this thing is cut to uh, cut one at three and three and a quarter, and then uh, two pieces at two and three quarter. This piece will be the first piece, and then that will go to the turn ends. So let's see. Let me turn this thing around. Take this two-inch adapter. Make sure you shove it all the way in as far as you can and still be able to access this uh, nut here because the further you shove in the more support you get from this hose. And plus I see some people talk about snapping this thing off because you put a rigid pipe in. So this flex couple actually help if you have any kind of stress on it. It won't put so much stress on the connector and crack it. Yeah, to get the longer piece, I'll show it in here. You see, that's barely enough for them to. And you put your long turn in, and I'll glue it later. And then you put your short piece here. your 45 turn that way I wanted to get away from the machine so I can put my vacuum right next to it because if you don't you come out here you can do that also you can eliminate that 45 but that's just me put that on you get another coupler and then you can hook your any standard vacuum hose to it a two inch two and a half inch vacuum hose down. There you go. So you can adjust this and then you can tighten it down more. Once I glue it, it's going to be stationary. So I want to set it up where I can use a pen, use a, a marker to mark this before I glue it. That way I know exactly what angle I like it. And uh, at first I was going to run, I, I was just running this to the trash can and make a big mess. So, so I just decided get my vacuum and plug it straight in and don't turn it on and the air will come out of here and uh, it works fairly well I went and got a cyclone off Amazon so the kit came with a cyclone a gasket two clamps two adapters and uh, some screws.
juice, but uh, I also went to the uh, local restaurant supply store and bought me a 20 gallon trash can and also a lid. And the idea is to uh, cut this piece of plywood straight on top and then mount my cyclone on top. And that way when I use the planer, I can just run the hose directly in here and uh, either leave it in the vacuum cleaner or just don't turn it on because uh, the planer has a self-propel uh, exhaust port so hopefully it doesn't kick any shaving out of the top. If it does, I'll put a piece of pipe and get a get an old socks and just tie it around and then that will, that will solve my problem. But uh, if I need to use it for other tools, I can just put that to the vacuum and use it as a red on the collection cyclone. Oh yeah, the other stuff that I got to go with the cyclone is, uh, I don't know, I think these are metrics or something. They, it doesn't fit any hoses I have. See, even with this hose, too small, and this is too big, and this is too big. So I think these are metrics or something. It doesn't fit. So my workaround is just like I did with the uh, planer. Is this is uh, a flex couple. And the uh, adapter will go into a one and a half inch. And then the two inch side will go, up, go into my vacuum cleaner or I can use any PVC pipe that I want to dress it up or make it look better. And also, just to let you guys know, the screw that comes with it, that comes with the kit, is not long enough to go through my three quarter inch plywood. So I would have to go to Home Depot, get some more screws and nuts, and uh, that, that's fine. So let's, let's get to it. Oh yeah. I have this uh, three and a quarter inch uh, hole saw that I bought before. I use it for this uh, project. But uh, it happens to uh, fit exactly in the cyclone, bottom of the cyclone. So instead of having to cut the hole with the jigsaw, I just want to use this hole saw to go right through it. So it's saving a lot of time and make everything looks better. Well, I guess we'll start working. My glasses on. As you see earlier, that uh, when I marked the corner for cut, I, I did a, I drew a hole through the center for, for the, the lid and for the pile, so that's going to be my center point where I'm going to make a more than bigger hole.
I just attached with the regular wood screw, and uh, it needs, seems like it's plenty strong. So initially, I thought I was gonna go get some screws because the one that comes with the unit is a little short, going through the three four inch plywood. But uh, I had some uh, one inch wood screws, so I go ahead and try it out, and uh, it seems like it's holding up pretty good. And the next next part is uh, we need to attach this uh, coupling to the cyclone so this is the this is the uh, adapter it comes with the cyclone so I just put it in the inch and a half side and uh, I leave the two inch out so that way and then for the top I cut a this is a two and a half inch and uh, another piece is uh, two and three quarters. So the two and a half will go into here. And I'll lay it out, glue this, so it'll be almost flush to the top. So I can adjust where, whatever I want to as it for it to be. And once I adjust it, I think for now I'm gonna put a, now I'm not actually using it because I'm gonna try it out with the planter. So this is just for the vacuum cleaner. So I just leave that off. And this piece will just go in here. And then I have another piece of coupling here to go to the hose, to the vacuum hose. Such as this. I'll show you. That coupling will go in here, and this will hooked up to my shot bag. If I need to uh, use, if I need to use it for other equipment such as my uh, router table or my uh, fan saw or whatever, then I can attach that in here. But uh, this is my 20 gallon trash can, and the reason why I choose this type of cyclone on top is because this type of cyclone on top is because all the cyclonic action is happening in here and the bottom is just a dust collection it's just for the trash so it doesn't need that bottom part to uh, to, to add as a cyclone so I can actually put a trash bag in here then I just when I when I when it fill up I just pull the trash bag out and throw it away with uh, some of the lid on cyclone you trash cans actually add as a part of the cyclone so you can't put any bag in there or else you will you will screw it up so that's the advantage of going with this type of cyclone so let's hook it up so I attached it as the exhaust side to my little pipe thing I, I made earlier and uh, I just attached this with the hose Come into the cyclone. So this normally goes to the vacuum cleaner since the fan is blowing. So I won't use it for now. But if I need to use it as a, a dust collector for my other equipment, I'll put this side to the to the vacuum to the shop vac, and then that will be going to the to to the other stuff. I can easily flip this thing around and move it to this side if I need to. The good thing is you can always spin this around so you can get to the screws. Okay, now it's pretty tight. So, I'll face that to, toward camera, towards the camera so you go this way so you can see what's coming out of that if anything comes out of there. So, we'll turn on the machine now. So here it is folks, it works, it works beautifully.
let's uh, open it up and see. So that bag thing actually works out pretty good. So once we fill up, I can just pull that bag and empty it off. You had to snap this in because this wind, this uh, blower was so strong, it blew, it blew the lid off. So I may have to get some bungee cord or something just to make sure it is snapped in tight. <laughs> 